Hey everybody. Well, I had you ship come pick up a sale. This is the first time it's ever happened. Very, very smooth. Saved the customer some money. I just listed the item for local pickup. And they bought it, and then I just directed them to you ship, and they arranged it. And now I've got room for my Christmas tree. <laughs> Yay! It comes apart. Okay. Oh, right here. Yeah, it comes apart. See the way this this works is it swings out. Oh. Okay. So, so you have to take it apart under here and take these off separate because if you do don't, it'll break. Okay. You can't pick it up like that. So. Okay. Speak with clarity Cause there's too much noise around us Or maybe it's just me mm -hmm. There's treasure in the sea Yeah, but I'm just too dry to reach it So this is how you, you uh, get a price for you ship. It's very, very, very simple. The thing I like about it is instead of having to palletize an item, which you can because shippers with large, large trucks will um, bid on it. Um, but in this case, all three of these, so the, all three of these seats had to come off. Um, it would have been a nightmare. It would have taken three pallets for just that. Then I would have had to, um, wrap up this right here on the bottom it probably would have been about a thousand dollars this customer the customer actually wound up paying right around three hundred dollars to ship to brooklyn so this is how i figure it out for my listing 
I just, uh, I did have free delivery, which I was, uh, it's local pickup. I had free delivery that I was offering with, within 100 miles of me because I was, I paid 225 for this item and I was asking 3000 which was a really good price because if it had been in perfect condition, it had been worth $10,000, a very rare, rare item. Um, what I wound up doing is, is I, it's getting close to Christmas time um, and I needed the space for the Christmas tree. So I, I did an auction, wound up selling it for $430. So I made over 200 bucks on the deal and I'm pretty happy. So anyway, this is the way I did my listing. Local pickup. I, um, I put a little note message in there if the people were wanting to ship that I would suggest using you ship and that would help any way I could put all the dimensions for the seat and the zip code that um, it's going to be shipped from. Next thing you do, once you have that information, you go to uship.com. Let's get a free estimate. All right, it is an, a household item. It's a piece of furniture. It is a sofa. So I go over here and I just kind of round up just to get an idea. Uh, the height is 44 inches. The width is 93 inches. And the height is 110. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. The height is 35, 36 inches. Uh, the weight on this I figured was about 100 mind zip code. And then what I do is, uh, California is probably the most expensive to ship from Nashville here. Um, so I will just pick an address in California. I actually have a friend in San Diego, and that's the one I usually use. But for this case, I will use this zip code. And we want to put the quantity is going to be one. All right. So then we move down here and we hit continue. All right, so this gives you a rough average, okay? Um, the average price is going to be about 285 to go there. Now, to go there, it would be probably, I would say, about 1500 to $2,000 to ship this sofa if I had to send it, send it freight. Uh, but this gives the customers a good idea, a good estimate. At 159 if you put 159 as your top amount, you're unlikely to get a, a delivery person that's going to go that low. Um, this is going to be pretty likely. And of course, the top, the highest paid would be about $357. you are very likely to get somebody. So this is what the customer would do. Um, so this gives me an idea of about what it'll cost to ship. Um, and that's about, that's about average. The customer paid about $300, I believe, to have this shipped. And then what they do is they create a listing. This goes out, uh, you set a date, um, the earliest and the latest for them to pick it up, the earliest and the latest for them to deliver it. And then you just send it out to their system and delivery people will actually bid on it, uh, which will tend to drive the price down. And, and that's it. It's a very, very easy way to do it. Um, eBay actually, I think it was last year or the year before, were uh, they were trying to get you ship so that it is a shipping option in eBay? I contacted eBay and I contacted you ship themselves. And the problem they're having is that you ship just doesn't have the infrastructure to be able to to um, synchronize with eBay. But this works really, really well. Saves um, uh, uh, freight, saves all the trouble. Uh, you want to make sure that you let the customer know that they need to inspect the item before they sign off on it. They have an option, which I highly recommend, that they can put a deposit on it to hold that. The deposit is only the amount that you ship actually pays. It's their fees, um, the, the, the fees that they actually get. The money that the driver actually gets, um, they can wait and they can pay it as soon as they release the item. But just like with freight, if they release the item and it was damaged, then there's no way for either one of us to be able to recoup those losses. If they refuse it, then that's that's really on them. Um, from the point that it's picked up uh, from my location, it is now just like a local pickup. It's all in the hands and the responsibility of the customer. So there you have it.